live from his basement in Lincoln, Nebraska. Welcome to John's Wrestling Views. Now here is your host, John. If you smell what the rock is cooking. The rock says, the rock, the rock, the rock says. Welcome to John Wrestling Views. I am your host, John. Thanks for tuning in. You know, it was an interesting week in WWE, um, and wrestling in general. Uh, Extreme Rules this last Sunday, great pay-per-view. Um, I stated it on Facebook, I'll state it here. My only complaint overall about Extreme Rules is why couldn't WrestleMania be that great? Um, top to bottom, great show. Uh, I think their only flaw in their show, so to speak, would have had to have been the uh, tag team match between... Uh, Jack Swagger and Michael Cole versus JR and Jerry the King Lawler, but what do you expect when you have uh, one guy in there who is a Hall of Famer who used to be a great athlete, um, and then two guys who can't wrestle at all? Entertaining? Yes. Great match. Not a chance. Um, top to bottom. Uh, but, you know, the big stories in wrestling going on this week all across the board, um... Christian, after 17 years, realized his dream by beating Alberto Del Rio in the ladder match at Extreme Rules to celebrate with his best friend Edge afterwards. A great feeling for not only the two of them, but for any great wrestling fan. Um, kind of reminiscing back a little bit to WrestleMania 20 when Chris Benoit won the world title. To see Eddie Guerrero uh, celebrating with him, it was it was a great memory, and it was a great night in history to see that. Um, I'll get to more on later on here in a second. Oh, no. Um, but no, Christian, world champion, five days later goes on to SmackDown, which is supposed to be his night, and then ends up with a title match against Randy Orton. Randy Orton, a, also a great match, Extreme Rules, as he... Uh, beat CM Punk in a last man standing match. In my opinion, best match of the night. Um, so you got two guys with great victories at Extreme Rules going on to SmackDown last night to face each other for the world title. Great match. Uh, but Randy Orton becomes a victor. Randy Orton's a new world champion just after, after not even a week after Christian won the title. I can't say I'm the most happy about this. You know, Christian's worked so hard for a title and they'll lose it five days later. But let's see what WWE Creative Control has up their sleeves, I guess. Um, but the big headlining moment for uh, wrestling this week was last Monday, The Rock's birthday party. Um, I loved how the show started off. You know, last Sunday, um, what it was announced after Extreme Rules, but... Uh, and John Cena announced it to the crowd at Extreme Rules. But if you watch the news anywhere, you saw that Osama bin Laden was captured and killed um, by our U.S. troops. And uh, uh, so it was a big night for the United States. And then the following night on Raw, let's celebrate. You know, SmackDown was the first show to air after 9-11. Um, so it's only fitting that Raw does some sort of tribute for our country too and it was great seeing Lillian Garcia back to sing the national anthem at the beginning of the show only to have the Rock's birthday party coming right after that. A little disappointed in my opinion. Um, it was nice seeing all the celebrities and stuff but there's nothing done. You know, John Cena just won the WWE Championship the night before at Extreme Rules in a cage match against Morrison and Miz and the only altercation between Cena and the Rock was Cena coming to him backstage with the title saying, this is my birthday present to you. I won this title last night. I'm going to keep it until next year's WrestleMania, and I will defend it against you in our big match, just making it even bigger. I'm hope Obviously, it sounds like whether Cena holds the title until then or not, Cena will be champion at that time. 
It'll be a WWE title match. Uh, but no altercations between the two. No war, war of words or anything. Um, just The Rock saying, just bring it. But, I don't know, a little disappointment in my opinion. Um, Raw not built up to be the stellar show that it usually is. John Cena did defend the title against The Miz in the middle of the show, which saw The Miz cheating to get a victory just for the referee to reverse the decision and call him for a disqualification, realizing that Miz had used the title. Um, but it is what it is, which kind of made the reason for having Christian and Orton last Friday on SmackDown. So that's WWE for you. Uh, the big thing also about WWE is Karma has come, destroying the Divas just like she did in her prior job of TNA. So, TNA suffers a big loss. You know, Karma left there. She was Awesome Kong there. She left about a year ago or so. Comes to WWE and is making a huge name for herself. Um, in the Knockout slash Divas division, what can TNA do to um, try to counter this attack? Well, Kurt Angle and Jeff Jarrett have been having this big storyline lately, um, which Karen, a uh, Karen Jarrett... Kurt Angle's ex-wife has been getting involved too much, and Kurt Angle said he's hired a mistress, somebody who he'll say for now is Mrs. Angle, who's going to take out Karen so he can focus on Jeff Jarrett. Who's it going to be? Well, this Thursday it's supposed to be announced. <laughs> Guys, I I'm going to tell you this early. Everywhere I've heard it's supposed to be China. And if TNA has really signed China, that's only going to do great for them. Grand, nobody's seen China in 10 years when it comes to wrestling. Um... But it'll be, it's going to be a good hit for TNA because um, China is a legend in the women's division and so it can only do TNA well. Let's hope that China just doesn't screw things up, but it'll be, it'll be interesting. The other big storyline in TNA right now, the network. Um, somebody is higher up there than uh, Hogan and Bischoff um, and Sting promises that next week, uh, one of the members of the network is going to reveal themselves. They were making it sound like at the end of the show it was going to be Goldberg coming to TNA. But it was the X Division stars who clearly wrote your next on Hogan's car. I wouldn't be surprised. It would be great if it was Goldberg, but I definitely wouldn't be surprised if it's not. So don't give your get your hopes up if it is. I've heard, remember that's supposed to be Mick Foley. Um, that would make sense. Um, but... When they said he or she, I'm thinking also, well, maybe Dixie Carter joined the network because clearly she's not out of her own company. Um, a lot of things taking place. Overall, a, a great week in Raw. Extreme Rules captivate, or sorry, a great week in wrestling. Extreme Rules captivating that, being the highest moment of the week. Great pay-per-view top to bottom. Let's hope wrestling continues to be as good as it is. Um, and let's just see what happens. But until then, thanks for tuning in. I'm John. Have a good one.